Hi, my name is Piotr and in this video I would like to show you 16 IntelliJ shortcuts which in my humble opinion may help you increase your productivity when working with IntelliJ. What's important to mention here is that you don't have to learn all of them. Just pick a few of your favorite ones and you will see that they will help you reduce the time that you will have to spend when working with IntelliJ. With that being said, let's open up the application. As we can see, I've prepared some code base here. The code itself is not important here because basically we should focus on the shortcuts here. As we can see additionally, IntelliJ um, has colored with red color the errors. So let's start with them maybe. With F2, we can easily navigate between the errors. It might be pretty useful when you are working refactoring or for instance, your code does not compile. Just hit F2 and you can easily navigate and see what is the reason behind the given error. On the other hand, if you would like to navigate between these files, just hit Ctrl Tab. What it does, it opens the switcher window. Basically, on the right side, we can see currently opened files. So these four are as well opened here. For instance, let's close the build Gradle. If you would like to see recent files, then just hit Ctrl plus E. It's pretty useful when you, for instance, close some file and you would like to get back to it pretty quickly. Just hit Ctrl plus E. On the other hand, let's get back to control tab so i'll do that on the left side we can see that beside the files that we are working with we can see another tool windows basically this is pretty useful if you would like to open pretty quickly another window like gradle terminal additionally if you on the left side of uh, the names of the tools we can see some numbers and letters here with these letters, we can go directly to the tool. So for instance, if I would like to open the Gradle tool window, I just need to hit G and that's all. Let's close these two for now and let's switch to another example. As we can see, we got the, here we are creating the object of the given class and we are using its method. To go directly to the method, for instance, to see what's going on there, maybe this is whatever, whether this is this uh, library or your, your even code, you can do it in two ways. For instance, when you mm, hit Ctrl and click left mouse button, then you will get here. When it comes to the keyboard shortcut, we can use Ctrl plus B. This is Pretty useful as I told when working with some external libraries. For instance, let's see what's underneath when it comes to the print method. Right here, voila, we've been redirected, redirected directly to its definition. Besides navigating within the IntelliJ, I believe searching is also like important here. And we spend a lot of time when searching for some file, its text, etc. IntelliJ helps us doing that in two ways. First one, text search, Control Shift plus F. Basically what it does, it's looking in files for the given text. So when I do just like here, when I put free, it's looking for free. And it doesn't matter whether this is the method, class name, or a text, which is printed, for instance, in this instruction to the output. I find it pretty useful when we are working with, let's say we found some bug, I don't know, maybe we had logger and we see there is a typo right there. It might be pretty uh, useful to navigate directly to the reason for this error. On the other hand, IntelliJ helps us when we go with um, tapping shift twice, there is this pop-up which allows us to search literally everywhere. No matter whether you would like to find some instructions from the toolbar or this is a class name, it will really help us doing that. As we can see, we got the method, 
named three example three, which is a class. But on the other hand, when I put here analyze plugin startup performance, we can see that we can directly in, go to the um, page, which we can on the other hand access from the given toolbar. I find it pretty useful that you don't have to click or over the application to get where you really want to get. Another important shortcut in IntelliJ, in my humble opinion, is Alt plus Enter. And this is probably the one that you will be working with the most, because basically what it does, it shows the context actions. So basically, if anything happens in your code, IntelliJ is trying to guess how to solve this problem. So let's maybe make a typo right here. We can see that we've got a few methods as well, uh, a few classes as well, which are highlighted with red color. Let's hit Alt Enter and see what's going on here. IntelliJ imported automatically the, like, the required uh, class because basically it found that, okay, example three is existing within the code. On the other hand, we got this example four, this class does not exist. So when I hit Alt Enter, IntelliJ shows up the pop-up and informs that we can create class, enum, interface, and other, or annotation named as well. So when I hit create class, I have an additional option to pick whether I would like to do it within the code, within this class, within this file, or to even extract it to the separate file. We can select the package, I can hit OK, that's solved. We can see as well that there is maybe a little badly visible, but um, this function name is un underscored. It means that we have a typo here. So sometimes it happens when you get a word that IntelliJ doesn't really recognize, or you really made a typo. When I hit Alt Enter, we can see that we have the possibility to rename this function. So I will hit that IntelliJ suggested the possible correct name, and this is good in our example. Basically, that's what Alt Enter does, and this is really um, great shortcut in IntelliJ. On the other hand, when working with the code, oftentimes IntelliJ will display, um, will try to guess the next functions. Uh, or what you would like to do here. As we can see, it is suggesting that we should end it with print, on print, totally use that function because basically it may increase the speed that you will be working with a lot. But on the other hand, let's hit escape. This dialog window disappeared. To bring it back, we can use control alt space. Sometimes you will have to rename something within your code, no matter whether this is class, this is function. There is another shortcut, Shift plus F6, which allows you to do it pretty easily. Let's delete two from this name. As we could see, additionally, IntelliJ renamed all occurrences within the code. Because basically, I could do that. Let's bring back manually. But now we can see that the, um, the used name here was not changed. So basically, if you would like to rename anything, use Shift plus 6. On the other hand, let's reformat a bit. That's totally not the way that we would like to our code to look like. So basically, to format the code, you can use Ctrl Alt L. Additionally, there is one more command here, Ctrl Alt Shift L, which allows you to configure the behavior of the code formatter. For instance, we can tick Optimize Import. If this is selected, if this option is selected, uh, the unused import will be remo removed as well. I can show you that. Let's remove example three. As we can see right here, it has been grayed out which means that this is not referenced anywhere. When I hit Ctrl Alt L, it has been rem removed. Additionally, you can configure there whether 
IntelliJ should reformat the code that you were, you were working with only or the whole file. I find pretty useful one more thing. Let's say that I would like to print one to the output and I would like to duplicate this. So I can either do it manually, Control X, Control V, Enter, Control V, Enter. Nevertheless, I don't find this pretty good at all. Instead, we can use Control plus D to duplicate. If we don't, if we select like a few lines, they all will be duplicated. On the other hand, when I just point to any line, the given line will be duplicated. If you would like to move methods, for instance, you got a mess, you would like to reorder the methods within the classes. Let's see the multiple functions file. And we can see that we got three methods right here. Let's imagine that we would like to move this to uh, to the upper side of the file. We can do it by uh, cutting it and pasting, but instead of doing so, we can also hit Ctrl Shift and navigate with up and down arrows on the keyboard. Pretty faster, isn't it? Additionally, let's get back to the check file. Let's imagine that we would like to do the same, but within the method. We can use Ctrl Alt, sorry, Shift Alt up and down to move one line. And this is like the first, the previous one was, is used when working with classes, functions, methods, but if you would like to move just one line, you're using Shift Alt up and down. Okay, with that being said, let's check Control Alt M. Basically, it helps us with refactoring and help us extract code to the given functions. Let's check the example and say that these two should be in a separate function. So we can either copy it or cut it, create a new function, one, do it this way. But on the other hand, we can use Control Shift Alt M and IntelliJ displays this window, which allows us to specify what should be the name function to and additionally, automatically, there is the invocation inside here. What happens when we create some variable, variable, and assign some value 15? We can go with extracting here, control on aim, get value, hit enter. The same happened here. If you would like to comment out anything inside IntelliJ, just use Ctrl plus slash. What it does, it creates a single line comment. And on the other hand, if you would like to go with multiple line comment, just go with select the text, Ctrl, Shift and slash. Pretty much exactly the same, but like, I find usually myself more useful the single line comments as we can navigate quickly through them and you don't have to then select the whole uh, thing to uncomment things. And that would be all when it comes to the practice part for this video, but I got one bonus for you. In the link in the video description, you can find the link to the JetBrains page containing a PDF which is describing almost all of the shortcuts that can be used inside IntelliJ for both Mac, Linux and Windows users. If you find any of my materials useful, please let me know in the comment section and see you in the next videos.